create a new 3D core project. Give a project name, all lowercase, no spaces, and then click create. Click window, asset store, and then the website will be open. Make sure you are logged in using your Unity account. Search online. Search for the word runner, and then you'll get a list uh, filter for free pricing. And one of the game that appear is Endless Runner Sample Game by Unity Technology. Click and then add that game to your asset. I already added this, so I'll open it in my Unity. Open Unity Editor. The package manager window will appear. If it doesn't appear, you can access the package manager from window package manager. It's here. Once you open the package manager, you change to my asset here. And then uh, it will list all the asset that you have downloaded or you have added from the asset store. Click the download button and then import. The warning will appear. Okay, it will tell you that it will override your current project setting. So just click import, let it override your project setting. And then another window will appear, warning again. Okay, so just agree to the install and upgrade. Another pop-up will appear. Don't change anything, just click next and then import. Once you are done, you'll get to see your imported asset appear in the project. Let's try the play button. If you don't see the game loading, you have to change the scene. So let's stop. To stop, just click the play button again so it becomes gray color. Now go to your project folder. One of the subfolders is scenes. Double click main and then we run the game from here. So the main must be open first before we can run the demo. So click play again. Game can be played from the game mode or you can change to simulator mode. If you are in simulator mode, you can choose devices. For example, I can change to Samsung Samsung Galaxy Z or I can change to other devices, Apple iPad. If your keyboard doesn't control the character, let's say you press the arrow, it doesn't move. You have to change to game mode. Sometimes the simulator mode doesn't allow you to use your keyboard to control the character. So I go back to game mode. And then I hit the play button. Okay, now I will be able to control the character by using my arrow key on the keyboard. So now it can be moved. Okay, so now I'm in tutorial mode. To pause the game, it's here. Okay, so once you pause the game, can you look at the hierarchy? Uh, industrial warehouse. You go to scene, it's this one. Okay, uh, if you click industrial warehouse up, zoom in, it's this one. So if you stop the game, stop the game, it's, it's this one. You won't see the scene in the hierarchy. It's only visible during gameplay. So if you play, Okay, it will be visible in the hierarchy. Uh, now it's not visible yet. You have to start the game. Okay, now it's visible. You pause the game. So now you know that uh, the background is editable in this particular object. Industrial warehouse, tutorial. Now I'm in the tutorial mode. Okay, so if you keep on playing, you'll be reaching to the next scene if you finish the tutorial mode you'll get this congratulations you know how to play the game now go to the loadout 
so the loadout is the real game just now is the tutorial game the file that you should focus on is here industrial warehouse one under the folder asset bundle team default industrial okay so if i open this double click okay currently i have a raccoon and two cars okay so let's demonstrate how to insert this character i'll go to some of the models exist in the asset and the raccoon is this one i put it here okay uh, you can set the position the raccoon uh, the y should be zero so it is just on the street or on the road the, but the problem once you play the game it is floating okay so let's see the game to watch the game you can see that the raccoon is here above it is floating up there so we'll fix this by editing some of the property of the raccoon so this is the raccoon okay next what to do if you look at some of the object in the industrial warehouse for example the road okay it have this special v coil material so v coil material is actually handling the asset so that it will stick to the ground if you want to learn more about the curve you search in youtube unity curve world graph the script is hidden somewhere inside v call so if you search for v call okay so v call is the script if you open uh, show in explorer the location of v call v call is actually a material but if you open with notepad just to see what is the content it is actually calculating the position the scale the offset of the object and then drag and drop the recall onto the raccoon so the problem is the raccoon will become white because recall is a white uh, plain material okay so that's the problem recall is white okay so if we play it will fix the position of the raccoon but the problem is the raccoon becomes white okay so now if you watch carefully uh, okay in the game the raccoon is there it's not floating in the air but it is white so instead of editing this editing v call uh, you can actually select the texture for v call but another option is we can duplicate v call into v call 2 and v call 2 takes the texture of the raccoon okay the file for the texture of the raccoon is already provided in the somewhere in the asset if you search okay so my suggestion is we can duplicate v call okay copy c control v okay we have this uh, the duplicate the new one i rename this as v call for the new one i put dash new v call new okay for v call new you can double click v call new and the texture for v call new you can search uh, raccoon okay so the raccoon is raccoon albedo texture 2d right so we have this new texture called v call new and i can implement it onto the raccoon all right so now we got the raccoon looks like a raccoon now stop the game play again we have a larger raccoon because i have doubled the scale and it should be normal raccoon not white raccoon okay and it is not floating anymore that's great so how about the car okay to add a car we have to find any suitable car from the asset store free cartoon car pack then you'll get 
a few of those simple nice looking model okay i go for the truck i will add the truck okay the truck here if the truck doesn't float uh, surprisingly this one doesn't float okay uh, it is nicely placed on the road so before you build the project there's one main important instruction which is written somewhere in the main folder if you go to asset there's one instruction instruction file okay if you double click it is a text file so it is telling you that you should do this which is uh, asset management addressable group new build and then just default build so it will take a few seconds Once you are done, you can go to file, build setting, and then go for Android. Okay, you can select all, scene, start, main, shop. We are not using it, so it's up to you whether you want to include shop or not. Okay, Android, if it's uh, not available, sometimes you see that it is not available. There's a warning. So if there is a warning, what you should do is you go back to your, your, your Unity Hub and then uh, go to install and then okay here you go to the setting of your version okay this is one version actually you can install multiple version add modules and then make sure Android is already installed Android build support so I already installed it is quite large okay then you wait until it finish and then you can come back to the build build setting android will be activated okay so the thing that you have to configure here there are a few things the first one is we go to the player setting which is somewhere at the bottom left you got player setting here company name is fcm product name is something else the icon you can change the icon here this is the icon that will appear once you install the game okay change this one right and then uh, i'm in the android setting okay let's go to the next setting that we have to change go to other settings okay override default package name it will choose this new name com followed by a company name and then your product name okay next uh, minimum minimum api level i go for android 10 uh, okay if you put 7 7 will produce a larger file because it will try to make sure that your mobile app your game compatible with the previous version i choose 10 it will produce a smaller size compared to version 7 okay next the scripting backend is il2 cpp and then the target architecture is arm 64 so those are the things that you have to set you have to change the company name product name all lowercase no spaces and then tick the override default package name and then change the scripting backend and then target architecture is arm 64 you click switch platform okay you click once it will become this button will become something else after this it will become built before you click it is switch platform then once you're done depend on the speed of your PC uh, okay you can now uh, click this button so I click the build button and then it will ask me where to save my game okay usually it will be the same folder as your project uh, folder unity project folder and then you can give it a name okay so I put version number 20 for example okay and then the extension is apk save wait for for my PC, it's around maybe five minutes, more or less. Okay. So after that, you can install in your phone and run it. This is the example of the output. Once you have finished the APK exporting, the size is around, uh, we can say 40 to less than 100 kilobyte. 
Okay, and then when you transfer this to your BlueStack or Android, the game will look something like this. Okay, and here, if I run it, you can see that I have added some cars and this raccoon.